For this problem, we'll be showing a two-digit divisor. So the boards also represent two digits for the divisor, a tens place and a units place, blue and green. And the problem we'll be working with is 53,328 divided by 24. So let's create the divisor first with Skittles. The units place of the divisor is four. That means I need four green Skittles. And the tens place of the divisor is 20 or two. So we can read the divisor here across the top of these boards, 24. And now let's create the dividend, which is 53,328. I'll start in the units place. And remember, there are 10 beads in each test tube, and I need eight units. two tens, three hundreds, three units of thousands, five ten thousands. So let's just read our device, our dividend. It's 53,328. Um, I'm going to remind myself of the three rules of division. The first rule is that everybody has to get exactly the same amount, their fair share. And so the fair share for the tens place of the divisor will be 10 times as much as the fair share for the units place of the divisor. I have to remember that. The second rule in division is that the remainder, if there is one, cannot be greater than the divisor or equal to. So if the divisor is 24, the remainder has to be less than 24 if there is a remainder. And the third rule is that the answer in division is what one unit gets. So when I finish this distribution, I will read my answer under one of these unit place skittles. When we start the division with a two-digit divisor, we'll be sharing two hierarchical values at the same time. Tens, the greatest value will go to the tens place of the divisor and units will go to the units place of the divisor. And the rule is everybody has to get their fair share. So the tens place each get a 10, which means that the units places each get a unit. So I, I don't have enough units of thousands to give everyone their fair share, but if I go to the 10 thousands cup, I can see that there are enough ten thousands for me to tape one back to the test tubes and exchange one ten thousand for ten more units of thousands. And as I continue the distribution, now everybody has whoops their fair share. But can I continue? Yes. I have two more ten thousands to share with the tens place of the divisor. And it looks like I have enough units of thousands to give each of the units of thousands their fair share. So now I can't share out any more ten thousands. So I have to stop at this point and see what the units place gets because remember the answer will be what the units place gets. So the units place gets two thousands. So 
I'm going to record 2 to represent the thousands place of the quotient. So I've distributed all these beads. And so before I move on, I have to clear the board. I put tens of thousands back in the ten thousands place. So I'm finished with ten thousands. I'm going to slide units of thousands over to the tens place in the divisor and bring down hundreds, which I'll share with the units place of the divisor. So remember, everybody gets exactly the same amount their fair share. The tens place of the divisor will get units of thousands. The units place of the divisor will get hundreds. That will be fair. And the answer will be what the units place gets. It'll be in the hundreds. So each of the tens gets 1,000. Each of the units needs to get their fair share, 100. But I'll need to do an exchange because there are no more hundreds. I'll exchange 1,000 for 10 hundreds. And now everybody has their fair share. I still have two more units of thousands, so I can continue. And I have enough hundreds to distribute to the units. So everybody gets exactly the same amount, which is two. That's their fair share. And the units place gets 2, which I'll record. And that will represent the hundreds place of the quotient. So I'll, I can put these beads away since I've already distributed them. And I can put the hundreds away. And now I'm finished with units of thousands. Hundreds go over to the tens place, and I bring down tens. So again, everybody will get exactly the same amount, their fair share. Tens will get hundreds, and units will get tens. And we'll record the answer, which was what one unit will get, and it will be in the tens place. So the tens get one each, one hundred each, and the units get one ten each. But once again, I need to exchange one hundred for more tens. I always check to make sure there are 10 in the test tube. OK, everybody gets their fair share. Can I continue? Yes. I'm finished with the hundreds, so I can't distribute any more to the tens, to the units. And so once again, everybody gets their fair share, which is two, and the units gets two, which is in the tens place. So I'll record that. And now I'll put away the hundreds that I've already distributed. Finished with the hundreds, tens will go to tens, units will go to units. The answer will be in the units place, 
and everybody needs to get their fair share. So this problem works out with no beads left at all. And the answer is what the units place gets, which is a two again, and it's in the units place. So let me clear the board. And here's the problem. 53,328 divided by 24. And when I finished the problem and, ex and shared out all the beads, the answer is 2,222 with no remainder.